Hello, in today's activity, we're going to learn how to do a newscast as a podcast using a program called Audacity. And uh, we're going to save that podcast as a WAV file and share it with the teacher. So let's see how we do that. Anyway, Audacity is on all the school computers. And later on, I'll actually show you how you can download it at home. Audacity looks like this. I'm going to click on it. And what it does is it allows you to record your voice and to bring in sound effects. OK. So here it is. This is pause. This is play, stop, rewind, go forward, and record. So let's do something really quickly. Hello, my name is Roger Nevin, and I am about to give a newscast about today's current events. Obviously, your uh, newscast will be a bit longer than that. So here you have two tracks. And the reason you have that is it's in stereo. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a sound effect. I'm going to minimize Audacity. I'm going to go onto the internet. And if you go to adamscott.ca, which is our school website, and on the main page, you'll notice it has podcast and photo story right here. So you click on that. Takes you to another website, and on the side it has podcasts. So if you click on the podcast here, it'll give you all sorts of resources. So here, here it is. You can download it for free. It runs on Mac and PC. It's uh, license-free music, which means it's legal to use. But what we're going to get is some searchable sound effects. So I click on sound effects, and let's say I want somebody cheering. It'll then find different cheering sounds. So then you go down, find the one that you like, and you can listen to it first. And if we open it, you can actually hear it. OK, I like that sound. So what you do to get it is you put your mouse right on the link and hit the right. It's the right mouse button. And you're going to copy you're going to download it. So one of these options will be to download it. And I've already downloaded it. Once you have it downloaded, it, you go back to Audacity. And you want to import audio. So click on Import Audio. On some versions of Audacity, you would have to hit um, Import from the top here, or you hit Project. So I remember the directory I put it in was the download directory. So I'm going to go to the download uh, directory, which is right here. And we should see Cheers, which is this one. And we're going to open it. And when you do that, it'll bring it into Audacity. And you should see it um, underneath. You'll notice that it's a lot higher, so it's probably a bit too loud. So I'm going to rewind it. And so we can turn the volume down on that. And we'll just play a little bit of it again. Hello, my name is Roger Heaven, and I'm about to give the next cast about today's current events. When you're saving a uh, podcast, you can save it either as a project file which you should be doing all the time. A project file lets you re-edit it later on. So in this one, I'm going to just call this um, news. And once you have it saved, that means you can re-edit it. When it's done and completed, what you want to do is you want to export it as a WAV file. So you click on Export, and it defaults to WAV. And um, I'm going to put News Sent. So it's in my download directory. And once that is downloaded, I can then send it to my teacher. And I'll show you how to do that once it's finished. Right here, by the way, is where you can put all the information. So I'll put my name in there. And I'll just put in news. And now it's saving it. It might take a couple of minutes or less, depending on the length of the podcast. 
Okay, it's saved. So the next thing I wanted to do is share it with your teacher. So what you do is you go to adamscott.ca. You log in. Let's say your, your name was Fred. And once you log in, you should see the Google Docs for Fred at Adam Scott. That should have your name right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to upload the file. Select the files to upload. And we had it in the download uh, directory. We had a new send. Notice it's right there. We do not want to send this one. That's an Audacity project file. We want to send this one because that's an Audacity wave file. That's the one you want to send. So we're going to send this one. So we click on it, open it, and start to upload it. Go back to Google Docs. And you'll notice it's right here. So then we select it, share it, share settings. And then we're going to share it. So I'm going to share it with myself because I'm a teacher here. And share it. So now I would be able to see that same file, which is the WAVE file. Notice it says WAVE. That's really important or the teacher can't play it. And everything's done. So now we just sign out. So that's how you, how you do that.